Out first for a look at conditions on the Treasure Coast. Rachel Perry is in Martin County where we have seen a decent amount of damage so far. And Rachel, how are things looking where you are? Well, it just downpoured pretty bad and the wind was coming in. But as you can tell behind me, it's pretty calm now. But the wind must have been much stronger this morning because if you take a look here, if we pan up to this tree, this big tree here, we're told, snapped and fell onto this home where you can still see part of it there. Now we talked to the family who lived here and sadly, they now have to find somewhere else to go. I was very frightened. I was trapped underneath a little bit of the rubble. Max and two of his family members were inside this home Thursday morning when heavy winds and rain blew through the area, knocking down this tree, crashing right through the roof. I was frightened, but I figured I, uh, being scared wasn't going to get me anywhere. So I, I was just waiting there until somebody was able to help me. Thankfully, a deputy just happened to be nearby and rushed to the scene. The reports are that the deputy helped the family, um, the adult and the two children that were inside of that room when the tree fell through the roof, helped them escape out of that room because they were partially trapped. Martin County Fire Rescue spokesperson Corey Pippen says their crews got here and assessed the family for injuries. Obviously, when you look at the scene, the, the, the amount of damage as well as the significant size of that tree when it fell through the roof, it's really uh, a miracle no one was injured, especially considering that the, there were three people inside of the room when it happened. Unfortunately, the home is a total loss, so we're told the Red Cross is now working with the family.